Hi, everyone. My name is Michelle Zhu. I'm the CEO of Tinctorium, and I want to talk about everyone's favorite wardrobe staple: your jeans. Look around you. Jeans are everywhere. That's what makes denim a hundred billion dollar market. But what if I told you that the core ingredient, central to giving your jeans that blue faded look, was actually toxic? Today, over 99% of the jeans in your closet are being made with chemically synthesized indigo, and the denim industry's dirty secret is that that stuff. Is made under dangerous conditions and polluting our planet. So the problem with indigo today is actually twofold. The first is a chemical synthesis process that is not only highly petroleum-based but also relies on known poisons like formaldehyde and cyanide to produce. On top of that. Because indigo crystallizes so quickly, it isn't water soluble, and so what that means is that to actually use it as a dye, you have to add equal parts of a ke water polluting chemical reducing agent. Well, here at Tinctorium, we figured out a way to holistically resolve the indigo problem with a nature-inspired process. Our solution is making indigo with Completely renewable sources, like sugar and microbes, we program and grow bacteria in order to secrete an indigo precursor that traps the indigo in a water-soluble state, putting a pause on the indigo formation process until we're ready for the point of dyeing. At which point, we combine the precursor with an enzyme, releasing the blue color and thereby eliminating. Any need for reducing agents. You can see the process happen before your eyes. This technology was invented by my co-founder, Dr. Tammy Shu, during her PhD at Berkeley, where we also filed our patent. And Tinctorium owns an exclusive agreement with Berkeley over that IP. We've proven that our solution works, and not just in a lab either. Over the last four months at IndieBio, we've been hard at work scaling up our technology. From 10 liter to 300 liter fermentation sizes, and that gave us enough dye to run our solution through an actual industrial machine.、And、just a couple weeks ago, we made this. This is proof that our solution works as a plug-in into the existing supply chain. That means we can literally take these clean dyed threads, run it through a denim production line, and we would have a pair of the most sustainable jeans on the planet. See, today consumers are taking a stand for sustainability in ways that we've never seen before. You've already watched the revolution take hold of the plant-based meats market. People are paying attention to how the food that they put in their body is made, and it's only a matter of time before they start directing their attention to how the clothes they put on their body every day are made as well. In fact, we have survey data to show this. We talked to over 700 consumers who, when educated about the toxic impacts of denim production, almost 80% told us they wanted to buy more sustainably dyed jeans. On top of that, we recruited a team of influencers with over 400,000 in following, who, when they heard about what we were doing, volunteered to help spread our message. And that's going to be the critical first step in our go-to-market strategy: building brand and educating consumers. That's why we're starting by releasing our own line of high-end limited-edition jeans, just to get the conversation started with consumers about sustainable denim. Next, we'll move to co-branded lines with our first premium partners in revenue-sharing arrangements. And finally, in the long term. We'll move to mass market partnerships, because our vision is that every pair of jeans can be better made. 
and the denim industry has embraced us. We've already signed LOIs with two of the world's largest denim brands. They're eager to track our progress because they've known about the problem with indigo for decades. And they're under enormous pressure to adopt more sustainable practices. See, brands are growing attuned to the fact that in order to stay relevant, they have to wake up to the true cost of fashion. Like the true cost of indigo when you actually take into account the environmental harm. And here at Tinctorium, as we scale, we'll provide brands the opportunity to mitigate risk and grow brand equity for just the price of a dollar more per pair of jeans. And as we do that, we're going to unlock untapped potential in the indigo market. By accounting for the true cost of indigo, we have the opportunity to grow the market and command a monopoly. And this is the perfect team to do this. Tammy brings over 10 years of experience in bioengineering. Drew Ross, our new downstream processing lead, brings over seven years of industry experience. And I bring a background in business operations and marketing. But on top of that, it's personal for me. Because my family owned their own denim and apparel business. And I'm committed to reinventing the industry I grew up in. We're honored to be advised by a team of experts as well at the intersection of biotechnology and fashion. UC Berkeley bioengineering professor John Duber, CSO of Bolt Threads, David Breslauer, and world-renowned denim designer, Adriano Goldschmied, otherwise known as the godfather of denim. We're raising two and a half million dollars in order to launch our first line of jeans in the next two years. And that's going to involve strain engineering and purification work to rapidly prototype fabric concepts and scale up to 10,000 liter fermentation sizes. So join us. We believe that saving the world is in our genes. Thank you. <laughs>